All right, everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the St. Bonaventure Bald Eagles franchise here on Localized Content on YouTube, Localized underscore content on Twitch. Last time out, we lost. Last regular season of the game, we lost 50 to 46 to the Rochester Miners. Heartbreak in the end there. Calling too many timeouts, getting a technical, them hitting a game winning three, blah, 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 blah. We lost. We finished the year two and three. Below 500. And I don't know if we made the playoffs or not. We'll find out after we go through these awards. Let's take a look. MVP Donald Gribbs. He averaged 7.7 7 rebounds. 0.2 assists. 0.2 steals. 3.2 blocks. Sure. That is crazy. He shot well from the field, not from the free throw line. A six foot four center, Donald Gribbs. One most valuable player. We played him... We played him at the beginning of the year, and he torched us for how many? Did he even torch us? I don't know. Recent games. Recent games. Again, at Bonaventure, he had 11. Shot 5 for 5. Um, yeah, I don't know. He, he's he's a dog. He is a dog, I guess. I don't know. He wins at, uh, MVP Rookie of the Year as well because it's the first year. Cortez Canada. How about that? We get six man of the year through Cortez Canada. 12 points, six rebounds, an assist, uh, and half a block a game. At seven foot five, half a block a game. Okay. He shot 73% from the field, 20% from the line because uh, I screwed that up. That was my fault. Defensive player of the year, Gribbs with 3.2 blocks. Sure. Mike Brown, who's the Sacramento coach. I don't know who Sacramento is. So, um, yeah, I don't know who they are or what team they equate to but whatever all nba teams johnny gray brad richards garrett chandler jerry atkins and donald gribbs that is one two three four eastern conference players and one western conference player second team uh kenny jennings magic heron Braden Braden gordon didn't make first team He didn't win MVP. He didn't win MVP. You're telling me he didn't win MVP. That's crazy. Uh, he didn't even make all NBA first team, which is also crazy. Everybody, yeah, there's a good amount of people that actually average double figures. Hood, Daniels, Gordon, Heron, and Kenny Jennings. The only two we recognize here would be Gordon and Richie Hood. All NBA third team, Simon Price, Eldon Bush, Paul Elliott, Jamal Anderson, and Cortez Canada. Cortez Canada made it, and he played off the bench. And our boy Towns did not make a team. Even Jamal Anderson made a team. We'll take a look at his stats in a minute here, but we'll take a look at all our player stats in a minute here. Simon Price, Eldon Bush... Paul Elliott, Jamal Anderson, Cortez Canada. Once again, majority going to... Ah, the majority this time goes to... Yep, the East. The East had better players, I guess. I don't know. All right, defensive teams. Johnny Gray, Richie Hood, Chandler, Paul Elliott, Donald Gribbs. They all made an all-NBA team, so sure, whatever. Bobby Russell uh, gets second team. He averaged two blocks a game. Nice. He's the Bill Russell incarnation. Uh, Davion Hollingshed from Buffalo. He makes it. Magic Heron. Uh, Brittany Walton from Rochester. Nice. And Leonard Hunt from Jamestown. Okay. Rookie teams. Don't. Not even going to look at them because it's everybody. What did. Donnell Fields didn't even make a team. Whatever. He destroyed us. All right, so four teams made the playoffs, and we were not one of them. So this is going to be the season finale, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, this will be the season finale, and we'll go into the offseason, I suppose, because we didn't make the playoffs. So let's actually take a look at the playoff stats. Uh, season NBA standings. Western Conference, we needed to be 3 no, we didn't need to be three and two. Well, we we could have been two and three. We just needed to beat Rochester. If we won that last game, then we would have made the playoffs. We would be playing 
uh, Niagara Falls right now, who I don't know if I'd really want to play because they're a bunch of dogs. 9.8 point differential. How about that? Biggest in the entire league, both conferences. Um, so, yeah, uh, they're good. That's probably Sacramento. Um, yeah, we just blew it. We blew it right at the end there. Uh, we aren't the worst team. There's plenty of teams worse than us. But look at look at that. It looks identical on both sides. Interesting. So we didn't make the playoffs. Let's go through the bracket. Niagara Falls will play Rochester 1v4. On the other side, uh, the Bronx will play Staten Island 1-seed uh, versus 4-seed. Back to the Western Conference, Jamestown gets the two seed and Syracuse gets the three seed. They'll play each other. And then on the Eastern side, Long Island will play Queens and we'll go from there. So uh, let's take a look. I know I'm all over the place, but league leaders, why not? Uh, um, points per game. Uh, Braden Gordon led the league in points per game with 13.4 somehow he didn't win mvp don't ask me how but whatever uh jerry atkins came in second he played for a staten island the colonials right yep staten island the colonials um dante towns was fourth in scoring canada was third in scoring except he didn't he didn't get any awards this year right not a single award went to him and he was fourth in scoring. That's crazy. Daniels Chandler, where let's let's see where was the MVP? Gribbs, 22nd in scoring. Let's take a look at rebounds. He was third in rebounds. Okay, Romero led the league in rebounds. Sis, Richards, Parker, there's Jamal Anderson, 4.2. Steals, Heron led the league in steals, blocks, Gribbs destroyed everybody in blocks, whatever. Now let's take a look at our stats, points per game. Cortez averaged 12.2, 5.8 rebounds. Uh, I already went through his stuff, 73% from the line. Pretty good year. I am satisfied with that year. And then Towns, you know. 12.5 rebounds, 0.6 assists, uh, didn't even block a shot, and he's a center. You know, he shot 54% from the field. What did he shoot from the line? 47%. Not ideal. Not ideal. Anderson, 5 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Interesting, but, you know, 39% from, uh, from the field and 23% from the line. Not ideal. Magley, 3.6 points per game. Patton, 2.8. Stewart, 2.4. 2.2 from Dawkins. Waters, 1.6. 1.2 from Shaw. And then the Scrubs, who didn't play. I mean, I don't know. Whatever you say. It's cool and all, but let's simulate round one. Not a single higher seed won. Rochester beat Niagara Falls. Four seed beats one. Staten Island beat Bronx. Four seed beats one. And then on the bottom side, Syracuse beat Jamestown. Three seed beats two seed. Que Queens beat Long Island. Three seed beats two seed. All right. Let's simulate another round. I don't care about Western Conference MVP. Syracuse beat Rochester, three seed one and the four seed one. So the Staten Island Colonials led by Jerry Atkins are in the finals against the White Wolves against the person who should have won MVP, Braden Gordon. Okay, so let's simulate with SimCast, see what happens. After one quarter, it is 14, 16 to five. Four seed Staten Island is running away with this right now. 
they are running away with the game. Wow. Your four-seeded Staten Island Colonials win 61-50. Gordon choked. Nelson went off. Neesmith went off. Not even their main guys. Where, where's their main guy? Their main guy, Atkins, barely even shot. He played four minutes. Is he hurt? He must have got hurt or something. He got hurt, and they still won. The Staten Island Colonials win the championship in year one. And Del Nelson gets the MVP of the finals game. That is crazy. Let's take a look. What, what were they in the regular season? They were 2-3. and three. They went from 2-3, and three and they just won the championship. That should show you something there. That should show you something. Uh, I guess that's all for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go through off-season stuff. Because I don't want to do that right now. Or do I? No, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks, everybody, for watching this episode. Disappointed we didn't make the playoffs, but it's whatever. We'll make it in year two. We've got a lot of roster adjustments to make in the offseason. That'll be next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And this is localized content on YouTube, localized underscore content on Twitch, and goodbye.